Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a Q&A, a little bit of a get to know me better. So there are a lot of questions that I'm gonna be reading off of my phone. And I'm just gonna try to get through as many as I can without making this video way too long. So I'm just gonna get right into it. So the first question I have here is, what's your favorite way to spend a day off? Um, I think my favorite way to spend a day off, well, most of the time on my days off, I usually don't do much. I am usually pretty lazy, but on those days, I, I, I just don't feel so well at the end of the day. So I think the most, the, my favorite way to spend a day is to honestly to just get up and be productive have a list of things that i need to get done that's super boring but yeah i would just rather have my day off as i need to go to the grocery store and i go and i just get my body moving and i always try not to do too much but honestly just going to the grocery store and coming back i just feel a lot better Next one, what type of music are you into? Honestly, I'm into a lot of different kind of music. Um, I definitely like um, what's on the radio, like what's popular and stuff like that. Um, and I think my favorite genre of music is to listen to older music that I used to listen to when I was a kid. So like R&B, but I kind of go back and forth between old and new, whatever, um, you know, I'm just feeling. And I also grew up listening to country music and R&B, so it was kind of all over the place. Number three, what was the best vacation you ever took and why? So I've never, well, I've been on vacations, but I haven't been on a lot of vacations, but I definitely think my top vacation would have been when I went to the Dominican Republic and I went to the Dominican Republic with my best friend. So that definitely made it um, a really good vacation. I also been to Cuba and I think that is my um, favorite place, but my top vacation would have been the Dominican with my friend. Number four, where's the next place on your travel bucket list and why? <clears throat> um, so the next place is on my top bucket list. I definitely want to, um, I live in Canada and so I want to go to a lot of places that are in Canada and that's also a realistic thing to think about because now with COVID and everything, um, I don't really want to be going outside of Canada, but there's not a places, a lot of places like in my own country that um, I have seen. And obviously Canada is really beautiful. I'd like to go um, on like a winter vacation, like to the mountains and stuff like that. See so you eat nice things. Number five, what are your hobbies and how did you get into them? Um, my top hobby right now is definitely plants and the way I got into it was um I well honestly I have always been into like gardening and stuff but usually it didn't work out because you know like if I had a garden in my in my backyard to try to grow vegetables I would always end up forgetting about them and stuff like that and then um, I started having a little bit of plants in my house I killed a bunch and um, this time I really tried to research um, like how to keep plants alive and stuff like that. And so um, I got the idea of having like a whole shelf just for plants and putting on the grow lights on the shelf and everything like that. <clears throat> so I went out, I bought a couple of plants and then a couple of plants turned into a lot of plants. So that's definitely my hobbies right now. Other hobbies are probably just um, I really like to do like artsy things. Um, I've knitted, I've crocheted, I draw, I paint. Um, but definitely being artsy, I definitely get into 
um, a hobby and then I just want to move on like I don't have the attention span to really um, sit there and just keep doing the same thing but I'd really like one day to have like a whole room like just that I can set up an easel and stuff like that and I can paint because right now I live in such a small apartment that I don't really have room for an easel and I could just um, have one and put it away and bring it back out but that's a lot of work and also by the time things dry and stuff like that like you would want to leave it out for a long time and it would just it would it's just too much right now I'd rather just have a room for arts and crafts <laughs> that would be ideal number six what was your favorite age growing up um, favorite age growing up. I don't really have a favorite age, but I would definitely say maybe under 10 when I was, uh, you know, my family was doing a lot of things. We can go to Canada's Wonderland. I felt like I had a lot of great days. Um, and then after that, it was probably definitely like when I started becoming a teenager and being able to um, realize a lot of things. So yeah. Uh, number seven, what was the last thing you read? The last book that I read, um, I was reading um, a book while I was traveling so I brought it for the airport and stuff like that um, yeah it was a pretty funny book it was about like these old ladies in a nursing home but they were bad and that like they got into a lot of things it was a pretty funny book I forget the name of it though would you say you're more of an extrovert or an introvert I would definitely say I'm more of an introvert um, I used to be shy, like really shy growing up and stuff like that. Um, but now I am not shy, like I don't feel awkward to um, talk or anything like that. But I definitely choose when I want to talk and when I don't want to talk. And a lot of people still think of that as um, being shy and quiet and stuff like that. But... Yeah, I just think I'm just I'm just an introvert. You know, I like to think about things before I say things and if things are not that important to say, um I won't say them. Which honestly, I feel like it makes me a better person because I'm um you know, dealing with your thoughts with yourself before just blurting everything out like some people take things the wrong way and whatever. Okay, what is your favorite ice cream topping? My favorite ice cream topping? Um, I mean, I would honestly say maybe I like, I have a few, but I definitely like chocolate syrup, whipped cream, some bananas. I would definitely say my top favorite though is probably the chocolate syrup, putting chocolate syrup. Mm. Uh, what was the last TV show you binge watched? The last TV show we binge watched, um, I, for, I forget the name of it, but it was The Haunting of Blair, Blair, Blair Mansion, Blair House. It's on Netflix, The Haunting of, B yeah, something like that. <laughs> Are you into podcasts or do you only listen to music? I only listen to music, but I was, I was, I've been thinking recently to start getting into listening to podcasts and stuff like that or audio audio audiobooks. The only thing about the audiobooks is I feel like you, like you actually have to pay attention where with a podcast um kind of like if you lose focus of listening um you can just still like jump back in it's not like when you're reading like you have to really concentrate so then if you're listening to the book like you also have to really concentrate obviously like you want to be concentrating but i feel like a podcast is more um like the flow is is a lot better so i definitely think that i'm gonna yeah start like looking into like which ones i can listen to and like yeah i like the idea do you have a favorite holiday why or why not 
Um, most of the holidays, um, yeah, I'm not like a huge, woo, it's a holiday, like I am, but I'm not. Um, I feel like I'm into holidays just for the fact of like, woo, let's have a good day, but like, that should be every day, but I just mean like, yeah, like Valentine's Day, Easter, like all those kind of like holidays, I'm kind of just like, or even Halloween, I'm kind of just like, whatever, like... Um, actually Halloween's today and I'm, I'm I don't have a costume like I'm not planning on going anywhere but it is quarantine but you know um, but yeah definitely um, Christmas probably Christmas is my top one not for the fact of presents but just like everybody um, celebrates Christmas so everybody kind of you know like gets together have food let everybody have a good day everybody have some good food uh, like you know so yeah christmas if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life what would it be definitely the food that i eat every single day multiple times a day most of the time um is cheese sandwiches right now i'm eating them on english muffins they're delicious English muffins, mayonnaise, cheese, cucumber, tomato, and then sometimes I do avocado, sometimes I put an egg. It's just really good. It's it's really good. It's I don't know what it is. It's just a combination of English muffin cheese and mayonnaise. Like, mm, so good. Okay, let's just do one more. Do you like going to the movies or prefer watching it at home? Um, I like both for different reasons and one I like to go to the movie theater just for the fact that like you're gonna go you're gonna have a comfy chair you can't get up <laughs> yeah like so you're kind of like sit like forced to watch it and also like it's a big screen so definitely like I like to go for like scary movies or like action-packed movies because it's just like in your face like boom like this is the movie um, but yeah, I definitely like to watch it at home just for the fact that you can pause it, you can take a break, uh, you're not spending money, you can, if you don't enjoy the movie, you can just, you know, turn it off, put it on a new one. Um, but yeah, you can be in the comfort of your own house, on your couch, <laughs> all those things. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I still have so many questions, so I'm just gonna make a part two, but I didn't want this video to be way too long. Um, so I'm just gonna end it here, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, please subscribe. Thank you.